Thank you for your interest in our Microsoft Dynamics CRM Legal Case Management Solution. We will be showcasing how you can easily access all your legal cases in Microsoft Outlook under your Legal Case Management Solution. Let's begin the demo. Let's go to our inbox in Microsoft Outlook. Click on Legal Cases. Let's open up Travis Smith v. County. Once you click, you can preview the legal case below directly in Outlook. Double click to open the record in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. The record opens in Microsoft Dynamics CRM and you can easily view all the information related to this case. Click on Bureau. Here you are able to select which bureau the case is for. This case is for a tort bureau. Now let's click on case type. Let's click look up more records. The case types are constrained to the case types from the particular bureau. Let's close this window. Click on Case Subtype. Let's click on Look Up More Records. Here you can see the case subtypes are constrained based on the case type. Close this window. There is functionality throughout the system that can change the case form based on variables or inputs. For example, let's check off outside counsel. Now you have access to the outside counsel firm assisting on the case. Click on look up more records. and close the window. You can also enter the outside counsel name on the case. Let's click on look up more records and close this window. Click on notice of claim date. There are workflows set up for when you enter the Notice of Claim date. The Notice of Claim case log record is then created. Now let's uncheck Outside Counsel. Let's click on the Case Details. The Case Details description is specific to the case that was selected. For example, this is a tort, a slip and fall. All the information about the incident is recorded here. The description, date and time, location and claim damage. Let's check off bodily injury. After checking off bodily injury, you will notice injuries description becomes a required field. Let's uncheck bodily injury. Now check off other damages. As you can see, the damage description field now becomes a required field. Uncheck other damages. Click on case time. Here you are able to track time spent on a particular case. Click on the add icon. Click on the search icon. Let's click on new to create a new case time. Click on type of work. Here you can view the different categories of work to select. Click on work start time. You can select the date and time.
click on Work Description to enter the work that was performed. Now let's close this window and click on No. Click on Plaintiffs. All plaintiff records associated with this case will be listed here. Now let's click on Defendants. If there is more than one defendant, they will be listed here as well. As you can see, the firms are represented also. Let's scroll down. Click on Witnesses. Any witnesses related to the case are listed here. Click on Case Log. Here are all the legal events that occurred during the case. A claim record that was created on the claim date an internal investigation has occurred and is listed here as well. Any hearings that are scheduled, commencement of action, and discovery are also viewable here. Let's click on Activities. There are all the communications and tasks that are tracked during the case. Emails, phone calls, etc. You are able to track all email correspondence within Microsoft Outlook. Now let's click on Documents. All documents associated with the case are found here. Discovery, filings, evidence are all here. Click on Case Agencies. Any county or state agencies that are stakeholders in the case can be associated in this section. Click on the add icon. Now click on search. Click on look up more records. Here you can see the list of agencies. Let's close this window. Click on case disbursements. All payments are tracked under Case Disbursements. Now let's click on Claimant Expenses. All expenses are tracked here under Claimant Expenses. Let's click on the More icon located next to Run Workflow. Click on Run Report. Select to run the Legal Case Summary Report. and let's expand the window. Here you have the case details, plaintiffs, defendants, agencies, activities, logs, all visible in this report. Let's scroll down to view more of the report. Now let's close the report. Click on Assign. Here you can assign the case to yourself or to another user or team. Click on Search. Now let's view another case form. Let's click on Legal Case Tort Case. Here select Lien and Recovery. Here you can see the city is monitoring the status of the case, where they can recover any medical cost and public assistance paid out. The case form is set up differently as it is based on recipient. Let's view the different types of organizations. Click on Organizations from within Microsoft Outlook. Let's open System Views. From here, we can see a number of different views. Let's drill down on active law firms. By clicking down the pin, you are able to save these views. 
Let's go back to our Outlook inbox. From here, we will see integrated functionality. Click and open the new email. Now let's click on track. Outlook tracks the email to the legal case in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Here you are able to open this email in Microsoft Dynamics CRM by clicking on the record the email is regarding. You are now viewing that legal case within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Let's click on Closed Activities. Here is the record of that email under closed activities within the legal case. We can view the email directly in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Let's close the email. Here you can see in Microsoft Outlook that the email is being tracked in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. You can change the record the email is regarding by clicking on Set Regarding. Thank you for your interest in our Microsoft Dynamics CRM Legal Case Management Solution. Click on the link for more information.